Today we're going to be talking about a wearable that allows you to stream media directly into the headset. Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we are taking a another look at the new and improved Vision Buddy headset. There's the logo. So Vision Buddy has recently updated. They've got a new look and some new upgrades to the software. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Real quickly though, a huge thank you to Vision Buddy for sending out their headset and sponsoring the video. The Vision Buddy is the world's first TV watching system for the visually impaired. Now it's not the first wearable device that you could use to watch television, but it's the first one to stream television directly into the headset. And that's what sets it apart from other wearable devices. With other devices, you're looking through the camera at your television. So that image is being displayed on the TV screen, then it's going through a camera and being displayed on the screens in the headset. So it's losing a lot of quality going through all those different lenses and everything. So the way Vision Buddy gets around that is it uses the provided transmitter to send the image directly into the headset. So you're just watching it on the screens within the headset and you're not losing any quality. And talking about quality, you can stream 4K Full HD into this headset. That's pretty cool. First, let's really quickly blast through all the things that you get in the box if you were to buy the Vision Buddy for yourself. Then we will talk about the hardware and then we'll do some demonstrations of the Vision Buddy in action. So of course you get the headset, the Vision Buddy headset, and it comes in this nice gray hard case. You get the transmitter. This is what connects to your cable box or your streaming media box. This is what sends the signal to the headset. You get some different cables to go with that, power, HDMI. You also get a power cable for the headset, and it has this really cool magnetic connection. This makes it super easy to charge the headset. You don't need to plug anything in. You just get the magnetic in close to it, and it latches right on. Then Vision Buddy also gives you this external power supply or power bank. This, of course, will extend the life of your headset, giving you more power longer. The headset itself is your traditional VR style headset or VR style goggles. It's a dark gray color and it comes in one single unit. It's not like other devices where you have to install a phone or anything like that. This is one solid unit. You have buttons along the right side of the unit here, buttons along the bottom as well as the charging port. The straps are adjustable so it should fit all different head sizes. On the very back here, you have this counterweight. This is to help balance the headset on your head. Uh, that's one of the questions I get quite often on headset review videos is how heavy is it? Is it a lot of weight in the front there? Um, and this one does a good job because of this weight in the back, it balances it on your head so it doesn't feel overly heavy in the front. The headset weighs 487 grams or one pound, one ounce. It has a lot of padding here. Uh, this is kind of a rubber coated padding. I'm not sure how well this is going to breathe, so you might get a little sweaty there. It fits pretty well, blocking out most of the light. There is a little bit of a gap down here by my nose, but it doesn't bother me at all, and the gap will be different for everybody. But other than that, it blocks out all the light, which is great. Battery life, you've got about two and a half hours with the battery in the headset, but you can also use the provided external battery pack here to bump that up to over five hours. Now, the Vision Buddy isn't just for watching TV and movies. You can also use it as a digital magnifier. So it has a camera here. This is a 16 megapixel camera, and you can use this for video magnification. In fact, that's one of the updates in this latest version of Vision Buddy. They've improved the use of the camera for the digital video magnification. And finally, Vision Buddy also can do OCR, optical character recognition. That's text-to-speech. 
You can use the camera here to snap a picture of a text document or a sign or a price tag and the Vision Buddy will read it out loud to you. Okay, first let's take a look at the digital video magnification because that's one of the big updates with this newest upgrade to the Vision Buddy. They've tweaked the software to fully utilize the 16 megapixel camera. So that's going to be increased resolution, especially when zooming in, you're not going to get uh, weird artifacting as much, and it should just overall be a much more enjoyable experience. Now, before we get to this, a quick disclaimer, uh, number one about the cable hanging down. So I'm doing a video capture from the headset to my computer, and that's why the cable is here. I have to be plugged into the computer to do the video capture. Secondly, and this was a comment that was received on my previous videos regarding the video capture that you're going to see, the video that you're going to see showing what I see through the headset. Please keep in mind that what you guys are seeing in this video is not how you see it in the headset at all. Well, I mean, not exactly. And this goes for both the magnification and when we take a look at watching TV and movies here in a minute, it's not a good representation of how you see it in the headset. In the headset, it looks way better, <laughs> okay? Everything just looks better. Also, the video capture does this weird barrel distortion effect where it rounds off the sides. You don't see that in the headset either. It's a nice, clean, straight image in the headset. So you don't get the distortion and the image quality is much better in the headset. Once again, when you're watching TV shows and movies, this can get all the way up to full 4K resolution. So it's a much better image in the headset. So please keep that in mind when you're watching this video and you're seeing my demonstration here. I'm doing the screen capture mainly so you guys can get an idea of how it looks as far as when I move my head, when I'm zooming in, that sort of thing. But just remember, it's not an accurate representation of how you see it in the headset. The quality is much better in the headset. All right, we're in digital magnification here and we've got some controls on the sides. We can zoom in all the way up to 10 times magnification. I can zoom out and I can also invert reading mode, which is the reading mode. So let's try to read something here. I've got a pill bottle, just some medication, over the counter medication. Let's zoom in. Acetaminophen. It's a pretty clear image. Uh, the colors look good. Not having really any problems with the reading. If I wanted to invert, reading mode. There we go. We're getting some um, highlighting on this because this bottle is round. We can kind of block the light there a little bit. But overall it works, I mean it works pretty well. It's your standard digital video magnifier. Some people always ask, uh, how about reading a computer? And so over here, uh, I'm doing the screen recording, but we can take a look. If I zoom in a little bit on the computer, let me zoom in here. That's the program running the screen recorder. But you know, it works pretty well. I would be able, probably be able to use the computer like this. Keeping in mind that it's just like any kind of digital video magnification, you're zoomed in. For me, especially if I want to see the words on the screen, I have to enlarge it so much that I'm only looking at a very small section of the screen. It's just like using magnification software on the computer. You're only looking at a small section of the screen, so you're gonna have to do a lot of moving. Uh, and so using a wearable device like this, you're gonna be moving your head around a lot. <laughs> so it's doable, just something to keep in mind. Autofocus works pretty well if I hold it out far away like this and then I bring it closer. Autofocus is pretty snappy. All right, let's quickly try to do the OCR. Um, one thing to note is in the past, the OCR hasn't worked properly while trying to do a screen recording of it. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. 
So in order to do OCR, you long press the mode button here, the center button. We'll get a box that shows up on the screen and it will tell us to put the text in the box. And when you let go, it takes the picture and processes. OCR mode. Position the text inside the frame and release the mode button to begin OCR. Processing OCR. Adults extra strength acetaminophen PM pain nighttime farming. <laughs> nighttime farming. Only for nighttime farming. <laughs> it got it though. If I press it again. Magnifier. We go back to magnifier. I think my screen recording stopped. But uh, you heard it. Visually, it displays the text on the screen. Uh, so you can follow along visually if you're able to. I put the box right over this top section, so it only read that section of text. Uh, but I got it. Maximum strength, acetaminophen, PM. That's what this is. Now, because I know someone's going to ask also about glasses, can you wear the Vision Buddy goggles if you wear glasses? Will it fit over the glasses? And yes, yeah, it does. I have my glasses on right now and it fits no problem. Uh, it's not pressing the glasses into my face uncomfortably. It's definitely a snug fit, but it's not uncomfortable at all. It's really easy to set up the Vision Buddy transmitter. You simply plug in any type of media box to the transmitter. This can be any type of cable box, any type of streaming service, Roku, Apple TV, anything like that. If it plugs into a TV with HDMI, you can plug it into the transmitter here. Another thing to note with the transmitter is you'll have better reception if it's out in front and not being blocked by a television. Okay, I'm on my YouTube channel here and I've got one of my videos pulled up. So I'm gonna push play. Help you learn how to live your best blind life. Turn it down a little bit. I make videos about living life with vision impairment, tips and tricks videos, how-to videos, and an emphasis on assistive technology that can help make your life awesome. So here in the headset, it really feels like you're sitting in a movie theater. Like I'm sitting in the front row of a movie theater and the screen wraps all the way around. And what's cool is if it's not quite close enough, I can zoom in, bring it closer. That brings the entire screen closer to me. It's really a very immersive experience. Now, as I mentioned before, the screen capture video is not exactly what it's like. In fact, I'm probably just gonna turn it off and just like audio describe what I'm seeing here. From probably here to over there, that is, is the width of this screen that I'm looking at, my YouTube video right here in front of me. It goes all the way down here to all the way up there. And it does not move, it is rock solid. I'm moving around looking at it. Like I said, it's, it's exactly like you're sitting in a movie theater. So I can sit back here, I can relax, and it doesn't change. If I were laying on a couch, I could totally just lay there and watch TV. If it's too close, I can push it back. And now it's further back. Now the screen is like about this wide. How close can we get it here? 9, 10, X, that's the maximum here. So now it's way over there and way over there. And it kind of is like an IMAX where it kind of curves. It's a bit of a curving screen, which makes it even more immersive. My head <laughs> is huge. <laughs> like I said, I feel like I'm seeing myself on a movie screen. It's really pretty cool, and it's way down there. You're in this 3D environment. Everything else around you is black. If I were to look back there, and it's all black back there, and the screen is right there. Zoom back, I don't need it that close. <laughs> uh, but you can hear the sound too. The audio comes through these little speakers down here at the bottom. There's also a headphone jack so I could wear headphones if I wanted to watch this discreetly and not disturb anyone else. How to use a cane, but the actual cane tips. That's what we're talking about It looks about good. Today. Okay guys, so that is the new and improved Vision Buddy. The world's first 
streaming, media consuming, assistive technology device for the visually impaired. The only device out there that can easily connect to your cable box or your streaming media box and then broadcast that content directly into the headset. And that's one thing I want to stress with this system is it is easy. Uh, there's no, I can have my gripes about this and that, I can nitpick this and that, but it, at the end of the day, it is an easy system. You literally plug up the transmitter, one cable plugs in from your cable box or your streaming box into the transmitter. You can then plug another cable out of the transmitter into your television. You flick the switch on the transmitter and it shows up in the headset. You zoom in, you zoom out. I mean, there's, it's about it. That's all there is to it. It does not need any type of Wi-Fi to work. The headset and the transmitter talk to each other. You don't need to connect it to your home Wi-Fi. You don't need mobile data or internet or anything like that. So yeah, it just, it couldn't be any easier. My video is still playing. Oh, the Apple TV screensaver. I'm floating above the world. Oh wait, let me zoom in. Now I'm really above the world. It's really immersive. <laughs> the screen is so big so that I feel like I am up in space floating just above the planet. Long press the button here, the device turns off. I mean, it's just simple to operate. The magnifier works well. Uh, the upgrades they did uh, with the camera and utilizing the full 16 megapixels, it works well. The OCR works well also. Uh, you know, it's not the best I've seen. It's not the worst I've seen by any means, but it's just, it's not bad. It, it does, it gets the job done. You're not gonna sit down and read Moby Dick with this thing, but if you need to check out your mail, you need to read the prescription bottle, you wanna take it on vacation and use the video magnifier to sightsee, uh, maybe take it to the museum and read the information underneath the paintings, it's gonna work fine for that. And then when you get back to the hotel, you can stream the content, you can lay, <laughs> you can lay on the hotel bed, relaxing and watching a movie uh, which is something I've never, literally never been able to do. If I had to pick out a negative, um, the headset itself, this padding, as I mentioned before, it's, it's kind of a rubberized texture. It's nice and soft, it's, it's, it's very comfortable, but it is rubber uh, or some kind of plastic, yeah, I don't know what it is. But here in my studio, I've got a lot of lights, it's a little warm in here. It, I am getting a little warm wearing the headset. Uh, so as I mentioned before, if you live in a warmer environment, you just might need to bump up the AC or put a fan next to you, but definitely something I wanted to mention. All right, price and availability. The Vision Buddy right now currently is $2,995 here in the US, just under $3,000. I'll have the link and all the contact information in the description down below. If you do end up purchasing the Vision Buddy or giving them a call or going through the website, use the referral code Blind Life, all uppercase Blind Life, or just let them know Sam from the Blind Life sent you. You saw it here on the YouTube channel. Once again, a huge thank you to the guys over at Vision Buddy for letting me use this headset to make this video. I do not get to keep the headset. <laughs> I know some people have asked that on videos before. No, I have to send it back. Most of the things you see on my channel, I have to send back. I don't get to keep. But if you guys have any questions for me, let me know in the comments down below. You can also check out the website, theblindlife.net. You can send me an email, sam at theblindlife.net. Be sure to check out the Amazon and the Teespring for all the blind and low vision related merchandise. And if you found this video helpful and you would like to help support The Blind Life, you can always become a member. Information also in the description box down below. Okay guys, that's it for this one. As always, Sam with The Blind Life, I'll see you next time.